In this first part, we're gonna look at the back extension. Um, we're gonna be using this bit of kit here. There are other ways of doing the back extension, one being on the floor, another one being with a machine when you sit and you uh, sort of uh, uh, sit backwards and forwards, as it were. But for this, for the purposes of this tutorial, because of the equipment that we've got, we're gonna be using this. So, with regards to the back extension, is it gonna strengthen your lower back? What it's, I'm gonna say yes. What it's certainly gonna do, they're gonna get activated, the lower back muscles. So we come into this position, we lean forward, then you come over, and then we come back up. So that's the basic movement of this machine in so much as where we hinge forward and then we extend back up. So what is this exercise doing? It's, it's getting the longissimus the, uh, and the uh, iliocostalis and other muscles of the lower back to activate. That is what it's definitely doing. Now, you don't necessarily need to hinge forward like I was doing there because the activation will come from this position here. Just a static hold because the, the lever of the body is being held up by the low back muscles. So you don't need to go through this movement to be able to access these muscles. Also, you can get glutes working as well. So there are some positives to doing the back extension. The reason I'm doing positives and negatives is because a lot of people get very agitated when I just talk about maybe some, um, some negatives as to the, to the back extension. Now, I don't prescribe the back extension. I don't feel it's a necessary exercise. I feel that there are other exercises that can do either the same job or a better job, which I'll talk about um, later on. But for now, if you did the back extension, you will get muscle activation from it. You will probably get strength from it as well. But what it doesn't necessarily do is get rid of an underlying problem if there is one there. Now, what does that mean? So when we come into position here, so we come into this position here and all these muscles light up. So you, you may be able to feel them when you go into this position. Now, you've then got um, longissimus, iliocostalis coming off the mid back onto the lower back. They are activating. That is what you are gonna get from here. What you'll also get if you hinge forward, they will relax and then they will contract. They will relax and they will contract. But what we're gonna do in the next part is we're gonna talk a little bit more about that position and that movement and how it may have or how it could have a negative effect on your lower back. 